Scott with North Park Anglers uh, today with another knot tying video. Today we're going to do the nail knot uh, and we'll be using a nail knot tool. Um, this knot is um, awesome for uh, attaching leader um, or loop material to the end of fly line um, and it's a very handy knot to know. Um, if your loop happens to break in the end of your fly line you can use a piece of heavy 25 to 40 pound monofilament um, to make a, another loop, uh, but to attach that loop you're going to need to use a nail knot. Um, so for the sake of this video I'm going to use two pieces of fly line. Uh, this yellow piece is going to be my actual fly line and this green piece will be my uh, what I like to use 30 pound monofilament uh, to attach my loop. So to start this um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, monofilament and you're going to run it through your tool and leave yourself a lot on the tag end. It's much easier to work with a lot of tippet. Go ahead and pinch it there. You're going to run it through and we're going to wrap back up. Now when I'm using 30 pound mono on the end of a fly line I like to make six to eight wraps. For the sake of this video and this larger material I'm going to just do four. So after I wrap up four times I'm going to use my index finger to pinch and hold the line. And then I'm going to push it down through there and it's ready to go. Now I will take the end of my fly line and I need to push this up into the knot find about where I want it and then I'm going to go ahead and pinch the end. Now what I need to do is I'm going to grab, grab this tag end and I need to draw the knot off the tool onto the fly line. And usually with monofilament I'm going to hit this as fast as I can. This material is sort of sticky so I'll be able to just slide it off nice and easy. I'm going to go ahead and pull that tight. Then I'll grab this end and pull it tight. But be careful not to pull too tight because if you pull too tight that knot can cut into the line. And we just kind of want that to just set there. So now what I'll do is trim these tag ends. And there's my nail knot. I would go ahead and take the about three to five inches. I'm going to tie a quick perfection loop in the end of this. And now there's my new loop on the end of my fly line. 